see me? Yes, finally. There we go. <laughs> hey. Hey. How are you? Greetings, Hi. greetings, greetings. Thanks for coming on. For sure. Can everybody hear us both? Put a star or a heart. This is to make sure before we go on, because you know IG be tripping. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, let's see. Can everyone hear us? Hey, guys. Hey, Kelly. And everyone else. Yes. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. All right. So today we have plant-based Nicole Roche Holiday. I remember your name just rhymes perfectly. <laughs> I know. It's worth it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you have been plant based for how long? I've been plant based for twelve years and a few months altogether plant based, yes. And then when you went raw, you just did a thirty day raw challenge and you are going above and beyond the thirty days. So yeah, it was supposed to just be thirty, but I've extended it, so now it's forty five days. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And why'd you choose to extend it? Um, my body said, keep going. My mind said, keep, keep going. Um, and the reason why I decided to do it in the first place, well, first, let me, I always like to say that my, my regular diet, um, had been high raw for the last, uh, several months. Um, so my body, it goes in different phases, okay? It desires things different times of the year. So at before I went this fully raw, I was doing high raw for, I don't know, six, eight months or so. So um, high raw, like where I'm eating more, like 80% raw, 80% whole foods, and then like 20% naughty stuff, right? <laughs> and then um, because of the holidays, I think it was the holidays where I was eating a lot of heavier cooked foods and stuff which is what made me feel heavy and weighed down, which is what my mind started saying, okay, cleanse, I need to feel free, you know, so my body was like, okay, raw, it's, it's time for all raw. So that's why I went raw for um, 30 and now 45, because my body and mind was calling for it. And I just listened to my body, whatever it says it wants, I do. So there's time, there has been times where my body uh, in the past, has wanted more cooked foods than anything. So I eat that, you know, so I just do whatever it feels. But right now, um, for the last six or eight months, my body has just been wanting more so raw. And now I did fully raw. And I'm very proud because I'm on day 37. And I hope y'all don't mind if I, if I nibble on some tangerines and grapes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, mind. <laughs> yeah, so I'm on day 37. And um, I, I appreciate this way of living i don't know if i could do it full time after this cleanse is over um so i admire everyone who does do this as a lifestyle for long term forever because it's 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 interesting <laughs> but you know and that's the good thing about it you could do whatever you want to do in life you you do whatever your body calls for your mind calls for so when i'm not doing this cleanse my body calls for mostly raw but allowing myself to have those cooked foods every now and then or some naughty little treats every now and then and that's a good balance for me so it's been a nice break though for these 37 days you know i'm eating all raw no process, no junk stuff, you know, no, the naughty little things I allow myself sometimes. So I've been really feeling so free mentally and just, just so clean, you know, mm -hmm. light. Yeah. That's so, so awesome. And I went through that too, you know, around the holidays, I was like, oh, I'm just going to eat some pie. I'm going to have all this stuff you know if it was labeled vegan i was gonna eat it you know and so i was like you know i need to cleanse also so that's yeah how i jumped on a, a an extended juice fast myself oh wow good for you yeah that's right i'm on day 48 right now so wait you've been only drinking juices for 48 days yeah <laughs> kudos to you girl because that's you. that's a whole other level <laughs> Yeah, my body, also, I felt, like, called to do it, you know. I was like, 
I kept doing like three days here and there. And I was like, you know, I need to do something long, you know, and my body needs uh, like a reset. And so I, you know, I jumped on a 90 day juice cleanse and I'm at day 48 today and I'm thinking I'm going to go to 100 days. So. What? <laughs> now that girl, you deserve a couple of pats on your back. Cause I, 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 I just don't know how people could do it. I don't know if I could do a juice fast. I could do all fruit. But I don't know. So I, kudos to you, girl. Hey, thanks. You know, I mean, we're all on our own journey here. I mean, I think it's amazing that you have done raw this long. And like, like your journey through this is pretty incredible. Thank you. I'm so. very, I'm very, very, very proud of myself. Because so six years ago, I think it was six years ago, I had headaches every single day for four months. Couldn't figure out what was happening. Doctor wanted to just give me medicine. I was like, I'm good. I'm going to try to do this naturally. I don't need your medication. Thank you. Yeah. So I went raw for 42 days, and they stopped. That was the only time in my life where I went raw, and I stuck to it the whole time, 42 days. That was six years ago. Since then, I've gone raw several times, 30 days, 21, 14. But in those days, there's always a time where something happens where I end up having to eat something cooked because just for whatever reason, like a potato here or something, right? So I always end up not sticking to it the whole time in these six years since that last time in 42 days, um, six years ago. So this time I, I, I've done it again where I've stuck to it. It's been 37 days and I'm just... Yeah, proud of myself. Like you, you know, even though those times where I felt like, oh my God, today the fruit is just not doing it for me. Like it's just not heavy enough. And normally, maybe I would end up going for a potato or something like that. But I just stuck through it, and I was like, no, I want to come out of this and feel like I have accomplished this like a hundred percent. Like I want it for me. You know, no, not for anybody else, but for myself. So I can say, you know what? You said you're going to do something and you did it this time. You stuck to it because like I said, all those other times, I don't end up doing it a hundred percent. So I wanted to do this for myself to achieve something to say that I did that. I, I accomplished. And by the time I get to 45 days, you know, I stuck through it and I, and I'm also trying to beat my last, um, you know, the 42 days. I also want to see if I can beat my last uh, record. So <laughs> thank you, Monsta. He said we're both very inspirational. Oh, thank you. My homeboy. Uh, Elizabeth um, says, do you have to test for your iron or your vitamin levels and iron levels? Um, Is that a question for me? I'm not sure. So I'll answer that. Do you have to test? Um, I think you should test, um, vegan or not, uh, plant-based or not, raw or not. I um, like to get my test done a couple of times a year. I've been eating plant-based for 12 years, and I like to get my test work, I mean, blood work done just to make sure I'm good. Um, and I have, um, all my tests always come back good. There were two times in my 12 years where two times – where my vitamin D was low. So I um, have then started, I started supplementing vitamin D. And then the next time I went, it was good. So I take a food based, not just the filler. I don't like taking those vitamins and supplements that are just fillers. Mm -hmm. I take a food based supplement. So it's, it's made of food as opposed to just those fillers. And um, dang, I can't even think of the thing now garden oh god i forgot but i take it's, it's a calcium and it has vitamin d and magnesium in it as well so i supplement that's the only thing that i've been low on in my years of eating plant-based and that's just because you know um you can really only get vitamin d in um through the sun really <laughs> the sun and, and like if you eat if you if you eat a regular diet you get it through like the cheese and the milk and stuff so i don't get enough vitamin d so i take i just take a supplement it's not a big deal for me i don't mind taking it um like i said i like that it's a food-based supplement so i'm good you know but that's the only thing everything has always been good my protein my b12 everything yeah i 
the only thing I take is a, a B12 supplement, um, like once a week, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but my iron levels have been great. When I actually, years ago before, I have a 10-year-old son, and so when I was pregnant with him, my iron levels were super low. I was taking an iron supplement, and, you know, even after having him, I was super anemic, and I was eating just mm -hmm. like a standard American diet. And when I switched to vegan, like all of that changed, you know, because I was getting all the iron and everything from all the plants I was eating. And that's, um, that's interesting you say that because people always be like, oh, you eat plant based. Are you iron deficient? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, honestly, <laughs> I, was iron I was iron deficient when I was eating a meat, a regular standard American diet. I was anemic for years. And um, I haven't dealt with that since I've been plant based. I do take a multivitamin as well. Again, it's food-based and it's raw. It's called raw vitamin code for women, something like that. Okay, and it has the, the brand uh, Garden of Life or something, right? Yes, I think so. Yes, Garden of Life, raw vitamin code for women, something like that. And um, it has B12 in it along with all the other things. So that mixed in with my diet, obviously I'm getting enough because um, it's never, when I get my blood work, it does not ever come back as an issue. Yeah. What's the vitamin D supplement? Can I run and get it real quick? Yeah, go. Okay. okay I'm going to go get it because I can't think of it right now. Okay. I'm going to turn my camera off. I'll be right back. 60 seconds. All right. Hey, everyone. Hey, Eva. Uh, let's see. What kind of smoothie did you have today, Nicole? We'll ask her when she got back. Okay, hold on. I was praying as I was running. I was like, Lord, please don't let me trip. Okay, <laughs> so first I want to say I don't take my supplements every single day. I take them uh, every other day, every two days or so. Um, so this is what I take. This is a multivitamin. It's raw. And it's made of, it's a food base. And this is Garden of Life. Um, so I like this because it's raw and it's food based. And then um, you can get it at Whole Foods. But if you broke, you can order it on Amazon. <laughs> like, so I order mine on Amazon because you know Whole Foods. Oh and, then, um, go there. and then this is the one where I take, I take this one for the vitamin D. Again, I only take these every couple of days. Um, I do get a lot of my supplements. I mean, my, excuse me, I, my vitamin, everything comes from my food, but sometimes there might be a little bit of, um, what do you call it? Where I, I don't complete the full recommended per day. So just to fill in those gaps, that's why I take the supplements and I only do it every couple of days. And this is also food based. So I take it for the vitamin D, but it also has calcium and magnesium. And this is rainbow light brand. Again, you can get it at Whole Foods, but mm, I order mine on Amazon because it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep it real, okay? Yes. Oh, Monster says, though I'm not vegan, you all inspire me to make better decisions and how I eat on so many levels. Thank you because eating better means I live longer. Oh, oh. I love that. Thank you, Monster. I'm glad we can inspire you. Now put them Doritos away. He's he's addicted to Doritos. We're gonna we're gonna oh, help him oh. get uh, delivered. I'm just playing. Thank you, Monster. So nice. All right, so Nicole, you are in the Bay Area, right? Yeah. How is the unfortunately? <laughs> <laughs> I am quite a few hours south of you, um, but also in California. Oh, that's right. You live in California. Yeah, Orange County. Me. Okay. It's a little warm here right now, but <laughs> it's nice for sure. Um, yeah, I miss living out there. I lived in Southern California for three years. Oh, really? Where? L.A. Um, I lived. I was okay. I still act, but th then I was pursuing my acting full time. So I was one of them broke actors, just written rooms and stuff. So I lived in those. In those three years, I lived in Koreatown for two years, which that was my favorite. I lived in the very nice part of Koreatown. Then I lived in Mid-City, then Baldwin Hills. But I lived in the ghetto in the Baldwin Hills. It's called the Jungles for like four months. 
I was like, I ain't never lived in the ghetto before. I ain't used to this. But And then I lived in downtown L.A. So I kind of was all over the place. But, yeah, it was cool. Wow. Until it wasn't cool anymore, which yeah. is why I moved back. <laughs> I was over it, and I was ready to come back home. And, and guess what? Now I miss it again. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. We always miss where we come from. All right. So Eliz Elizabeth says, I asked because I have cystic fibrosis and part of the illness, we don't absorb the vitamins or food in general. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. I mean, I would definitely consult with your doctor before, like, switching mm -hmm. or changing anything, you know. But I yeah. fully believe that plant-based whole raw fruits and vegetables provide the most nutrients um, and vitamins and essential amino acids that we need. And, you know, if your doctor asks your doctor what they think about this brand, uh, taking that every few days to help fill it in if, if you're not getting enough to diet and see what they say. Again, this is food-based, okay? Food-based. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> intuition. So, what has been your favorite meal that you've made in this past 35, 37 days? So, um, I was telling um, Jeanette, Miss Fit Vegan, that I've been, I'm so proud of myself because I've been experimenting. I'm not a person that likes to cook, and I don't really like recipes, but I've been doing a lot of different recipes and stuff. I did one from, shout out to Delilah Raw Fit. I did one from her book. Um, it was a cashew sauce over um some spiralized what do you call it cucumber Poodle. and it came out really good the sauce it's the it's a sauce for me okay mm -hmm. <laughs> so it came out really good i actually did it live i i i um did i do that one live yeah i think i did that one live so it's on my uh reels series section um i did that one so that was really good um I'm not one to want to do that kind of stuff every day. It's too much work. I'm going to keep it real. I'm lazy, and that's just too much. But I will do it, you know, every now and then. And then I also did one from Raw Food Romance book, and that was a marinara uh, marinara dish, and so that was good. And then I did – I made some um, – this is not a meal, but this was a little treat I made – uh, mini raw Snickers, really mini raw vegan Snickers. Oh my God. It tastes, it did taste like a little Snickers to me. And I fell to the floor after I took a bite. I just, I was like, this is so good. And I, um, that's also on my page. I put the, the recipe in the description. So if you guys go to my page and you see me holding up these two little chocolate things and it says mini raw vegan Snickers, check it out and try making it because it, it came out really good. And then I had leftover chocolate. So I put that chocolate like on a little a pan thing and put it in the freezer overnight. So the next day, then I had some chocolate bars, Ooh. fudge bars, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I've been, I'm just so excited because I was experimenting, doing things I don't normally do. Um, but honestly, my, my thing is simplicity. I just want to eat fruit, a smoothie and salad because it's just faster and but it is nice to try the little raw gourmet stuff every now and then. But, yeah, I like to just keep it simple. Hello. Yeah, I think the simple is the best thing for me, too. It's yeah. easy to just, like, slice open a melon and eat that for breakfast and then make a smoothie. And Yeah. Sometimes but it is, nice to, it is nice to balance and just do other things and experiment. There's so many people in this community that have cookbooks. Delilah Raw Fit, Raw Food, Romance. Um, I can't think of everybody right now, but they all have some great recipes Yeah, and it's nice to experiment and try, you know, making different things you don't usually make. So I'm proud of myself for that. Yeah. And so your husband is not, is, he's not plant-based at all or? No. Um, so <laughs> I think I inspired him to be almost, no, nah. he's like, he is not plant-based person but he eats plant-based so he'll do like five days of the seven days a week he'll eat plant-based okay then on the weekends he goes in <laughs> he goes in on the meat and i'm like yeah you know that's good at least he's not eating it all the time or every single day um and when i cook i don't cook meat for him i'm not you got me twisted if you want me to be in the kitchen cooking some meat <laughs> So I make like vegan stuff for him, and um, and then if he wants meat, he can 
Make that himself. I, I ain't the one. <laughs> I ain't the one. No. Yeah, I live with my parents right now, um, and they are not vegan or plant based by any means. Just me and my baby are. So yeah, definitely proves to be a little difficult at times. And I mean, it's, I make them some some meals sometimes. And they're like, "Oh, this is so good! Like, where's the the meat part? You know." I'm like, oh, this is a, <laughs> this is a fresh salad. Like, <laughs> you don't need the meat. Right. You don't need no meat. Thank you, sweet thing. Sweet thing says, I like you, Nicole. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, yeah, you know, people, you don't need me. You just want me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can live without it. You can live without it. Obviously, there's, I don't know, a billion, million, trillion of us people who eat plant based. 12 years for me and people, some people longer, and we haven't been eating meat and we still surviving and we yeah. still living. And I, you know, as far as I know, I'm healthy. I might have some ailments come up every now and then. I ain't perfect or anything, but I'm just saying, like overall, uh, you know, and I haven't had meat in 12 years, so it's not a need me. It's a you want me. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, what has been your like the most uh, rewarding part of your experience this time around through your raw? your raw experience this time i just feel like skipping all the time <laughs> no i i just the way i feel i would say um i just feel clear i feel clean i feel light i feel cleansed that's what i wanted that's why i did it because i wanted to cleanse I wanted to feel refreshed and I wanted a reset for my mind, my body, and my soul. So I'm getting what I wanted. I didn't do this for weight loss. Matter of fact, we ain't even gonna talk about that because I don't just lose weight just from eating raw. Um, but well, I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, just the, um, sorry, the rewarding is just how I'm feeling. The reward is just how, I, the reward is how I'm feeling. I can, I have, Received what I wanted, which was just a reset for my mind, body, and soul. I feel closer to God. I feel connected. I feel, I just feel good in my mind and soul. And I'm not saying everything was perfect during these raw days because I will be sharing a video soon on my experience, the good, bad, bad and the ugly. But as far as the way I, I feel great in my mind and my body and soul, in terms of the cleanse but i have had some issues in my body which i will talk about in my video update <laughs> hey that happens you know the cleansing process is is intense you know i'm i'm going through like lots of detox symptoms still on day 48 of my cleanse you know mm -hmm. it's still still very present you know um healing. but that's Prices. yeah I think I have some healing crisis. I think that's what you call it. I think so too. Yeah, that's what I'm definitely having those too. <laughs> but that's so awesome. I think it's it's like so cool that we can heal so many things with like just food. You know, like ha what we mm. put in our bodies really like dictates like everything. Yeah. You know, yep. our health and our everything. You know, when we're eating, you know, the way we're supposed to be, it can allow our bodies to heal itself. The food, foods don't heal us. It's it, the food helps our body heal itself. You know, when we're doing what we're supposed to do, you know, it can, it can definitely do that. Yeah, but, but sometimes I'm gonna say, before you get better, sometimes you might get worse. Okay, not I'm not gonna say that for everybody. I'm gonna say sometimes when you are going, like if you go raw, for instance, you might have a healing crisis. You might be doing it because you want to get rid of some pain maybe the pain might get a little worse at first but then it will get better you know or it might not that might not happen at all you know because there's times where all the other times i did go raw even if i went really 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 high raw and i was healing something it would get better and i didn't have any healing crisis or whatever this time i don't know i'm gonna say I, on day eight Okay, first let me say, I dealt with, um, what do you call that, um, sciatica pain before. But it's been like two years since I've had that. 
I went raw this time on day eight. On out of nowhere, that sciatica pain was just coming through, and I was like, "What in the world? How is this happening while I'm eating raw when I haven't even had this in two years?" It might have been something going on with the deep. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, but I do know that um, it's gotten better. You know, it just it's like, like it came on me and then it got better. Um, and normally, when I did have that in the past, that's I usually would go raw to get rid of it. So it's weird that I was already eating raw and it came up, uh, it came upon me. Yeah. I was like, devil, devil, you are a lie. You better get out of my body. But <laughs> <laughs> it, it got it got better, and I'm just like, you know, that I just thought that was pretty interesting. That it and it was so uncomfortable. I think from day eight to like um, I don't know. I think the last time I had it was maybe ten days ago or something. So it, it lasted a couple of weeks. It was very uncomfortable, especially when I'm sitting down. Yeah. Thank you, Delilah. She says she loves my honesty. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> I like to keep it real. But yeah, I was like, what? It was weird. It just came out of nowhere. Day three broke out with a rap on my chin <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see it on camera but in person i was able to see it then it went away i think that was just you know some detox going on but yeah some weird things was happening i was like uh-uh it's not supposed to be like this but you know it's just going through its thing yeah uh, real quick let's see what type of juicer to use for juicing sweet thing says i use a haram um it's h-u-r-o-m it's like a knockoff Nama juicer, you know? <laughs> it's nice. It's just really small, and I juice a lot, and so it takes me a long time to, like, produce a lot. <laughs> yeah. And let's see. Dom's Vegan says, can you tell us more about the connection between what you put in your body versus your spiritual health? Uh, say that again? Says. Can you tell us more about the connection between what you put in your body versus your spiritual health? I don't know if I quite understand that, but I will say that um, I think I've said this before, and I might have said it earlier that when I'm eating when when I'm eating clean, right, and then when I'm eating raw, that takes it a whole nother level. When I'm eating clean and my body feels cleansed and free, it's clear of of, of of just everything. So it, it feels like it makes me feel closer to God. I have a relationship with God. I'm a Christian. I grew up in a, in a Christian home. I have the Lord in my life. I accepted him in my life when I was young. Okay. But sometimes when I'm eating, when I'm not supposed to eat, I feel clogged. I feel cluttered. Right. So it feels, it might feel a little distant, but when I'm eating clean, I'm, I'm free. I feel free. Therefore I'm feeling Feeling closer to God, and my connection it just feels stronger. I don't know if that answers your question, Dom's vegan, um, but that's my answer. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, I know you have to run pretty soon here. Um, I just wanted to. Ask we could do like five okay. more minutes. Okay. I have cool. my podcast at 3 30 uh pst you guys if you guys want to come join me and see uh be interviewing uh someone about their healing so that's why she said that i have to go soon and that's hair. podcast i'm sure um so what um what is your favorite fruit currently that you're, I know you're stacking on grapes and oranges <laughs> you don't seem too excited about it <laughs> because it's just I've been this season. It's I'm not feeling it. D Delilah Raw Fit. I need to go where you are. I don't know if she's still on here, but she lives in Belize. Mm. And when I interviewed her a few weeks ago, she was in the garden, and I was just like, man, that's where I need to be. But like right now, it's like hit hit or miss. I've been I shop at Trader Joe's, and like every week the fruit is not on point every week. So. Like I'm eating this, I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm not in love right now with with what I'm eating. But when it's sweet, okay, it's 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 I'll give it a six <laughs> out of ten. But um, so this season, shoot, I don't. My favorite fruit is pomegranate, but is that over now? Because I went to the store the last couple of times, they didn't have it. They had the 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 ones in the in the 
where it's prepackaged, it's already in, you know, yeah. out of the shell, but they didn't have the actual fresh pomegranate. Yeah. So that's been my favorite of this season was a pomegranate, but now I think it's gone out of season because they're not, the last couple of times um, I went there, it wasn't there. But in regularness life, <laughs> I love watermelon. That's my favorite, but you know, that's not until like the summertime. And then um, I love, um, what are those orange things? Oh, persimmons. No, yeah, persimmons. But the thing is, I like them when they're a little tough, crunchy. Okay. But that's, they're not, that's not raw though, I believe. I think they're only raw when they're squishy, but I don't like them squishy. <laughs> I only like them when they're crunchy, but when I eat them crunchy, sometimes it makes my stomach hurt. So it's just like, <laughs> so right now, pomegranate, even though it's, I think it's gone now, and then um, and then watermelon and grapes. When grapes are sweet and plump and juicy, like me, that's when I like them. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> what about mangoes? Mangoes are... I, on the top I like mangoes i'm not a go-to mango person because of i feel like it's just so much work just like i feel like pomegranates too it's so much work to eat but they're so good but i do like mangoes i just don't buy them all the time just because i'm like dang that's too much work i can't just bite into it you know or just, it's not so simple it is simple but it's not you're talking about somebody who's lazy in the kitchen that's too much work for me but i do like mangoes i do yeah all right well so do you feel like you're gonna go on for more days after the 45 or are you really craving some like some cooked food oh man i've been having some intense cravings lately um so i'm gonna go 45 days fully raw and then i'm gonna go back to my high raw lifestyle afterwards where but, but the difference this time for a while Normally, I do high raw, but 80% clean whole foods, 20% naughty stuff. But I'm going to be 100% clean whole foods, high raw, though, okay. for a while. And then I might bring back my little treats every now and then like I used to. But for a while, I just I, I really love how I'm just processed food, junk food free. I like it. I feel good. And I just like I want to keep it going, but I do want to bring back just my regular way of living, high raw, the way I was before I did the raw. Yeah. What are your naughty foods that you're talking about? <laughs> so curious. Well, if you ask. <laughs> um, so, you know, every now, you know, um, so I don't, when I go grocery shopping, I don't buy junk food stuff. But if I'm out and about, if I, um, I'm at a birthday party, Party or sometimes a husband and I might want to have date night. He might go get a burger somewhere, so I'll go get a vegan burger or, you know, uh, some vegan nachos or something like that. Every now and then we might get ice cream, so I'll get vegan ice cream. He'll get um, regular ice cream, stuff like that. But that's 20% of my life. It's not every day. I don't buy it for groceries. It's just those those special times where you just want to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I feel it's okay to do as long as you're not doing it all the time. I preach a, I, I preach that you should eat a majority whole foods diet. Your diet should be primarily whole foods. That means you shouldn't be reading ingredients all the time. If you're reading ingredients, that means it's processed mostly. So 80% should be whole foods. And then maybe if you're a person that does like to have kind of stuff, just allow yourself to have it 15, 20%, you know, um, most of, we should not have a lot of labels in our house. If we do, that means you got too much processed stuff. Get rid of it. Make that be very, very small part of your life. Cause that processed foods and all that stuff is not good for us. Um, so 80% whole foods, 80% clean, you know, and then you can have your little nibbles and your little bad stuff every now and then. Um, most of our food should be the way it was born to be, you know, whole right. foods, potatoes, uh, vegetables, fruits, nuts, you know, salads and things like that. That's what you should be focused on primarily. Yeah. I agree. Whole food, plant-based diet is the way to go. For sure. This is so 
fun. I hate that I have to go. <laughs> I know. I love having you on here. It's, we'll have to do this again and have a, a deeper chat sometime. For sure. I have to go do my sound check for my podcast. Because oh. um, for, my, for my podcast, you know, I set up in the other room. I do my, I use my mic and everything. I do my little sound check. <laughs> so, yeah, this has been fun though i really appreciate you bringing me on here to share and um yeah, yeah. thank you yeah thanks so much for coming on and you know we'll we'll have to talk again soon i'm gonna let you go but sure. um if anyone wants to um click the link in my bio or visit my instagram page or nicole's instagram page um we have links in there she has a podcast i have a program um that i'm running to help women lose weight and transition into a plant-based diet um so check out both of our pages and yeah support us yeah, yeah for sure thank you guys thank you thank what's your name matt your real name madison but i go by mads okay mads thank you mads i appreciate you God bless you, and I wish you the best with your program and helping others be the best they can be. Thank you. It was so great to talk to you. Likewise. Have a great day. Likewise.